Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Vertical Attitude video on a nice sunny day. The uh, problem at the moment for this one is that uh, the step is not working. It's a full single step and button press it's as if it's still locked and will not come down. So we're going to have a look underneath and investigate and if necessary take the motor off and um, take it to bits and see if we can repair it. Uh, this initially occurred in Scotland. All those roads gave it a few bumps, knocked it back a bit. I think it's disturbed something or maybe broke something. It did stop working in Scotland and then it changed its mind and decided that it would work. So I'm thinking maybe this is a, a fix that can be done. If it's the motor, to buy a new motor, it's around £170. So uh, that's probably the main thing probably I need to take to bits and see what's going on. It could be simpler as a bit of grease, a bit of oil, who knows. We'll have a look and see. So to show you the problem, here's the step. Push the button up here and you see what happens or well, doesn't happen. Let's try and but no success. So I'm gonna have a look underneath. I can see the motor just here. All the structure seems okay. Get under the wagon. Right. See, uh, well, I hope we can see the step. I can look behind here. You know, we know there's power going to it because it's trying. Um, looking at the structure, uh, it all looks okay. So I'm thinking it's probably something to do with this motor that's around this side. And have a look, see how that comes off. I think that might be a cover here. I don't think there's anything stopping it. Um, let's see what happens. Give it a talk. Oh yes. Well, given it a tool, it seems to be what's causing the initial problem. I don't know. So I think maybe a service is in order on that motor. Maybe we get some grease in there. We'll see. The job so far. I've taken a plastic cover off here that had two screws in it see this is a switch so when this lever comes up it tells the vehicle that the step is up or down it seems to be operating okay I've taken one screw out here I've got the cover here I think the bolt in here which is probably a screw there maybe um, undo that and see if we can get this cover off and have a look at it and I think I'll disconnect the electrics once that covers off hopefully they'll just be able to uh, disconnect this switch has got two connections on it um, basically it is a switch and it is operating so um, I'll get the cover off and have a look and, and uh, see if we can get the motor disconnected It actually was that bolt. Uh, the bolt had two nuts on it. Um, so we've got the cover off. Uh, this is the motor hanging by the wires. We can see that we've got a, a purple wire on the left and an orange wire on the right. As the unit is facing me this way. So I'm going to take those off and then uh, 
So investigate, Let's see if I can take this bit and maybe grease it up. Now we've got a pin here that comes through to this. And as you can see, we've got a nice square hole that actually fits on there. So this is obviously how uh, the step is operated via the motor. Um, so we can see various screws on here. I'm thinking maybe take those off and uh, maybe you need to put a little bit of grease inside. Um, so bearing in mind, if you do this, uh, the position of the wires, uh, the other two wires are going to the switch step there. Um, so just bear it in mind because uh, you don't want to connect them the wrong way around and uh, when the step should be up it's down, when it's down it should be up or whatever. So uh, I'll get these disconnected and then we'll have the unit out and uh, investigate further. So we've got the motor off, um, taking these two screws out here and I'm going to take these ones off here. 25 um, that type of uh, screwdriver fitting. So I'm going to give this a tug and see what's inside. Right, hopefully this will come out. I can see there's a model number just there. Also, I can see the plastic fitting fits in the bottom, so when I put it back in, it should go in the right order. That was quite easy. Oh, I can see yeah, there is some grease in there, uh, and those cogs. So I'm thinking maybe not. Oh, I might have a look and see what we'll see what's in there. So this is obviously the pinion that rotates. It all looks good. It looks brand new actually. So we'll check this out, we'll put it back together, we'll put it back on and then uh, we'll oil and grease any joints on the step itself in case that's the problem. The only other thing I thought about was maybe it could be alignment uh, or the jogging about. Maybe it's loosened something or uh, it could be slightly kinked stopping it coming down. So, we'll carry on with this. Uh, it's the same uh, screwdriver, take that off there. The thing is, don't lose your screws. I usually have one of these magnetic uh, dishes, and I'll pop them in there. But since I'm doing it on the uh, cardboard here, see what's what. And uh, sorry about the noise from the traffic behind. I can see there's little tabs here. Find the little screwdriver. Hopefully I'll just uh, be able to lift that up. Plenty of them, and it is coming up. Um, I'll be a bit careful because I don't want everything springing out and disappearing everywhere. So gently move off. I can see there is a good, a good bit of grease in there, so I'd say there's no issues there. And we can see that it does turn. I think it was like that. Um, plastic cogs, metal, but uh, they all seem in good order when they come out. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave that as is. It all looks good in there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to 
think we've got enough grease in there. I think it's nice and tidy. There's no dirt, no broken bits. So put that back on so that's clipped back in nicely. And I'm going to put these three screws back in. on there so we know we've got the pin at the bottom here and hopefully that will slide in but of course it won't guess what I've turned the cogs ah oh, there we go we're in and this has only got two screws so I think we confirm this is in good order we know it our product so the other issue, like I said, it may be just a bit of grease on the uh, step itself, around the joints. So that's back together. Uh, contact's are good. There's no breakages. So that's ready to go back on. So we are back under the vehicle. I'm operating this step manually with my hand. I have actually discovered the problem as to why it was sticking. So as we can see here, as this side comes up, it hits the frame of the vehicle. So I'm right in saying it's probably got distorted a bit. And uh, you can obviously see there's a kink there where it's been catching a while. So I want to give it a tug, obviously it releases it. Um, so I'm going to make sure all the joints are tight on the step. But I'm going to see if I can cut about uh, just a little, about half an inch off the edge of that. Uh, with my grinder. Hopefully I can grind it away. Um, I'll try tightening the nuts and bolts on the step first. See if that has any effect. If not, that's the real problem. But we've had a look at the motor, which is quite interesting. And if you're gonna replace or take the motor off, um, that's basically how to do it. Or you would just wanna give it a service and grease and oil it up. So we'll have a go at this and see if we can get things working smoothly. So just about to grind a little bit of metal off to make a clearance for this step. Um, anybody that is doing this sort of thing, I'd advise wearing gloves, goggles, air muffs, and obviously we need the grinder. Um, you get metal sparks and you don't want those in your eyes or in your ears plus metal against metal will uh, make your ears ring a bit so uh, without further ado I shall uh, grind a bit off and then uh, we will see what it looks like. So here we are you can see a nice shiny bit of metal that I've cut off and now I'm going to push the step back <coughs> doesn't catch at all, plenty of clearance. I think the initial problem is that these joints aren't bolts, um, so they're like a type of rivet, and a plastic type of washer, so they swing a bit. So I think maybe they've worn, as you can see, it's jiggling about, so we've got some movement there. And I think that's down to a bit of wear and tear. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to File this down a bit and then I'm just going to put a bit of paint on the edge to cover the bare metal up. And then uh, put the motor back on, hopefully, jigger to jog, we're all working order again. 
Well, okay. We've got the motor back on. Um, put the bolt back on with the two nuts. One is inside, the other one holds the cover on. Also the screw for the cover. We've also put these plastic covers on that guards the switch with two screws. This is what I ground out over here. Um, I filed the rough edges off, sprayed it with a bit of paint just to keep the uh, rust out a bit. So proof is in the pudding. We will now press the switch and see what happens to the step. Um, two choices, it works or it doesn't. I know it shouldn't catch because I fixed that over there. So we will see. Right, so we've got the step, we push the switch. Oh, success! Success. Uh, I've greased these up with some white grease, um, it's operating smoothly. So bit of time and effort and uh, a little grinder and we fixed the job so another job done thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps you in some way or another